In this how-to lesson, I'm just going to show you very quickly where the major tools and features of the program are located. Along the top row here are our main menus. These contain most of the tools and features of the program. And you simply click on a menu and go to the section you're interested in and click on it from there. Here's the first row of tools. These are things like Open, Save, Open Document, Undo, Redo. They don't change very often, they're static tools. In the second row of tools, these are dynamic. In other words, they change depending on what you're doing in the designing area. For example, if I click on text, you can see all the text tools appear. If I click on an object, and then I click on this Hide Reveal tool, I can see that object's tools and features, and I can adjust these as I need to. For example, the circle, I can change its uh, border width. And then I can hide them away again. If I click on this curve here, and I go to node edit mode, you can see I get all the node edit tools up here in the second row. And I can pop those away or bring them out again as, with the hide reveal tools. If I click on an image, you can see I get the major image tools up here. So the second row is a dynamic set of tools. On the left hand side here we've got our creation tools in this toolbar. So for example if I want to create text, I click on the text tool and I type in some text. I want to create, say, an arrow, I can just uh, click on that fly out and draw out an arrow like so. And if I want to draw a curve, I can just simply click on the curve tools like so, click done, and I've now got a curve. And I can import an image from the uh, images menu like so. And I'll just drag it out and there's an image I've imported. So those tools are your creation tools. There's also things like alignment, uh, dimensions, and a whole range of other different tools and features which are accessible from this toolbar on the left hand side. I mean, for example, I can select on this arrow here and I can uh, apply some effects to it, outlines, 3D modeling, whatever I'd like to, uh, to apply from this flyout here. Uh, I can set its colors, um, different fill styles, and uh, different fill methods, etc. Now on the right hand side up here in this toolbar is the design center. Now this is the central location of all the major tools and features of the program. It's a very centrally located uh, tool panel and it provides you with all the major tools and features of the program. As you can see here, if I click on an object, I can see its size, its position, and I can set those uh, parameters here as well. So it's a very handy thing to have. So as you can see, you can select a lot of tools and features from this list of tools here in the Design Center. Another thing you should know about is fast hints. Fast hints are like uh, little help files that pop up depending on what I've got selected. For example, if I select on the circle, it'll tell me all about circles and how to work with those. If I select an object like this, it'll tell me about object mode and how that all works. So fast hints is a good thing to be aware of and occasionally uh, look at it from time to time. Pop those away there like that. Uh, another thing to look at is the rulers. They slide up and down like so, or left to right, as you can see. Another thing you should be aware of is the, um, the zoom tools down the bottom right hand corner here. You can zoom in, zoom out, you can go to say wireframe mode, back to normal mode. I can also pop off the tools uh, by clicking on this button here to show more of the designing area. That's a nice thing to know about too, simple checkbox. There's also modes, cutting mode, which is a nice simple mode, simple set of tools there like so. Production mode provides a few more tools, a nice streamlined set of tools there. And if I'd like to see everything, I can click on Expert Mode and uh, work in that mode for having all my tools and features, like so. Now another thing to know about is when you open a document, you click on the Open up here like so, and you can actually see like a thumbnail preview of your different jobs, and you can click on that like so, and you'll see these document tabs. So I can click on those to move between documents. And if I click on this little uh, fly out here, I see my page uh, thumbnail viewer, and you can see I can scroll down and look through all the pages of this particular document and I can select any of these pages and they just immediately select. Or I can use the page navigation tool. By clicking on these here I can go to any page I like. I can go page by page by clicking on these buttons or go back to the beginning or to the end. And then I can just pop that away. Oh, objects, I must tell you about these. Yes, if you wish to visually select objects, this tool is fantastic. You can click on this here and select your objects like so, visually on the screen. Very, very helpful that. So I can pop that thing away now, the thumbnail view like so. I've got my spot colors over here on the right hand side and these are for things like uh, vinyl color charts which I can click here 
and I can go up to say my vinyl colors and I can select whatever particular vinyl chart I'm working with and uh, the default sets up the top here click accept and that's what loads into the color charts uh, to the spot colors on the right hand side there and uh, what I will show you quickly is how to create a simple job so I just choose the uh, page size I want to work with say 24 inches by 36 inches like so then I'm going to just type in some simple text this might be some sort of like street sign um, arts and crafts for example I'll type that in like that I can then resize the artwork as I need to obviously I need to make this a bit of a thicker font this first one here is fine and then I can uh, say center that font like so and I can fiddle around and position it where I want to put, put it the uh, put the artwork as you can see everything's visual on, on, on screen I'll add a little bit of clip art say uh, butterfly would be fine just select one of these butterflies here click on that accept and then just paste in and I can draw, just draw it out at the size I like easily rotate it on screen like so resize it position it do whatever I need to um, now what I will show you is I'll uh, create an arrow and I'll then actually put uh, now open over the arrow now this what I'm showing you here is a reverse fill so if I click now open, or sorry type in now open resize that and put it over the arrow I've got black on black so in wireframe I can see it obviously as I'll show you here um, but obviously I can't see that so there's a good little trick in the uh, program is to use reverse fill so the program knows it now open as a black text but it lets me see it on top of the black arrow that's very very helpful one other thing I will show you too is the magic button so if I select an object you'll see this little uh, light globe appear and that gives me direct access to a whole bunch of tools and features uh, depending on what I've selected so if it's an image it'll be the image tools or a butterfly it'll be the object tools so that's how the or where most of the major tools and features of the program are located and that's the end of this lesson thank you